Scooby Dooby Doo. Maybe this can lead us to our culprit. Jinkies. Now I know Scooby Doo is global, but how much or how well did you know him growing up in the UK? Oh, I, I was raised on Scooby Doo. Uh, Saturday morning, there was wall to wall cartoon, kids' cartoons in Britain, and it was Scooby Doo and the Wacky Racers. So I was not only raised on Scooby Doo, but Dick Dastardly and Muttley and Penelope Pitstop, who he was always trying to uh, have his nefarious way with. Um, and then when I heard they were making a movie and I was offered a part in it, I was, first of all, I was incredibly excited because they called it Scoob, which is what we call our youngest daughter. Her name's Ruby. We called her Scoob since she was born. Uh, and then I opened the script and I realized I was playing Dick Dastardly, who obviously originally didn't live in the, the uh, Scooby Doo universe. And I was just out of my mind with joy. There's a connection with your daughter too, because your daughters are a little bit older, probably. And you know the the target demographic for the animation, sure. but it's it's um, something that every family can enjoy, and and she probably likes that there's a namesake in there. <laughs> there are there are jokes for every age in this, and what's fabulous is to watch it and realize that the stuff the parents are going to get and the kids are not going to get, the stuff that the kids are enjoying, the parents are looking for other layers. It's really an unbelievable balancing act. Mostly, it's just a big emotional adventure. The thing that's occurred to me weirdly, because we're in this strange time. Um, is that the film is about, it's an origin story, and you meet Shaggy and Scoob back at the beginning, and, uh, and you see the fault lines in all of their relationships and how years later they're kind of magnified and they come to, you know, they kind of split them apart and how they find each other come back together again. Well, we're all in lockdown, and uh, <laughs> people are with their families or friends, and there's a lot of pressure on relationships. And, and it's a pretty magical story to remind us what we value and what we celebrate in each other and not to get distracted by the small stuff. Good. Well... Thank you for making us laugh. We needed a time like this. And, and it's, not, it's not bad to be able to put some, to throw some light into people's living rooms in these dark days is a great pleasure.